Hello everyone and welcome to this glorious game of Starbo. <laughs> please do me a favor and please include that last part. Not the protein parts. We'll include whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> Steve is here, like I said, giving a game of Star Wars. Casting with me, already interrupting me, which is glorious. It is going to be Born the Freedom Loving Patriot. How are you doing? You doing okay? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to give you an awkward silence. Yeah, I'm doing fine. <laughs> it's only, you know, three in the morning right now. Just, just, just you know, let him know it was. Let him know it was planned, and uh, we'll get it. We'll get away with it. Yeah, and I was watching the the edge of tomorrow, and you interrupted me. Yes. Because I watched um I watched Jack Reacher last night. I was like, damn, Tom Cruise is pretty sexy. Jack Reacher's I mean, really not that good of a movie, though. I think, but that's just it, me. it was. Yeah, it wasn't that good, but um, I mean, it's got it's got some nice little good old action scenes. In the top and right the corner, movie. spawning as the red Terran player on Texas is Dirty Bag. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. It's spy in the bottom left corner. He's green. He's Zerg. He is Byleth. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, we can't do a little zoom in thing on this video. You region. can't. And, and for anyone just okay. tuning in or watching on YouTube, whatever, this is the this is from the Euroboat, the third Euroboat tournament that we had uh, Friday the um, something, uh, the 12th. Um, this game was not casted live, so we're going to cast it from Replace because we're really excited. Dirty Bag and Byleth, both top tier Star Wars players. Dirty Bag, arguably the best Star Wars player we have. Uh, Byleth yeah. used to like rule the ladder and then he got inactive for a while and now he's coming back. So he's kind of, he's a slight underdog in this matchup, I would say. It, it, I, yeah, it's really hard to make that judgment considering how good Byleth is. I think he had like a 208 to like 8 win rate or something. Yeah, he <laughs> had crazy. He had a crazy. Ridiculous. He had. It was like a, yeah. And, ooh, Dirty Pack wants to get that really early expansion up, but Byleth is almost, ki almost killing an SCV, but he's gonna, the drone yeah. will be punished. You know, Shooting I actually drone. really like. It's really interesting to watch Dirty Bag, considering how good he is. And I myself, as a Terran player, I have a lot of trouble in TVZ. So there's probably a lot that I can take from this. So first things first, things first about Dirty Bag's um, opening so far is he scouted and he saw that there was a hatchery, so he skipped the first marine and he opted for a fast command center right away. So I like that. Born with the Terran? analysis, man. I'm glad I'm casting a game with Terran. You have a lot to offer her. I'm I'm glad I'm casting with a noob because you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, that burn, that burn. <laughs> hey, it's okay, you play Zerg. Zerg is hey, an easy race. You Karen want that? Though. You want Karen that Protoss nerfed? Race. Guess what? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, you have to change reverse. <laughs> Anyhow, so dirty, dirty bag is um, losing his SCV, uh, but he's getting his expansion up. Violet's uh, getting a fairly early metabolic boost. Might and a wow. swarm of zerglings. Oh, that's a lot of zerglings. So I don't know if actually I don't know if Terry Bag actually saw that um that upgrade going, but he does know that there's only two hatcheries, so he might be throwing down a bunker. I really hope he does. Oh, he really should. Okay, there we oh, go. Oh, look at that E Han timing. But Bio oh. man, he's still gonna move in possibly. He's got oh. an overlord there. He does see there is an, uh, a bunker going up, so that's pretty crucial details. This is gonna decide whether or not he's gonna continue with the pressure or just back off. But it looks like he's building more more zerglings, so he's gonna keep going with it. Well, the he's bunker's not, the not in a very good position, though. It's quite easy to run by this bunker, but yeah, he can't run into the main base if Dirty Bag just closes yeah. his door. But he can't circumvent the bunker and just run into the mineral line. He's gonna have to play it like a little in and out of the bunker game with the Marines. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of. So he's droning though now, so he's not super, super committing to this. But it is quite a commitment. It's quite a lot of zerglings. I think he's still gonna go for it. I think. I, I'm not really sure. We'll, we'll have to Here see. Here we go. Him. Yeah, he's gonna go over it. He's going oh, he's it. gonna kill Three the bunker. Bag. We're reacting time. Three bag bring all his SCVs. He's gonna lose the bunker. Oh, he's gonna oh, lose oh. a lot here. No, but okay. I that was. You know what? That didn't actually go in by his favor at all. He only killed two workers. Yeah, he killed a lot of marines though. He, he, you know, he like he didn't. He, he's gonna delay a push for a long time because Dirty Bag would eventually push, but he lost a lot of zerglings. So I don't know if that was worth it. That is a lot of economy that was kind of wasted. That could have been drones. You know, it looks like he does have 24 drones now compared to the 23 for Dirty Bag, and um, he did lower down the Marine count a, lot, a little bit, but if you look in the Army tab, I mean, it's still significantly favoring Dirty Bag, oh, so I yeah. would say it probably didn't favor Byleth that much, but he's going to go for a third base. I really like that. So with that initial early Zergling, counter, uh, Zergling play, he actually bought enough, enough uh, map control for a third hatchery, so he's going to go ahead and get that. So, I wonder what he's going to transition into, whether it's going to be Mutalisk or... Hydra. Team 
seems it's gonna be lurkers because it's getting yeah, a lair and a hydrogen right as you were asking that question and mm -hmm. dirty back also doesn't know about the third base he's, he scanned the main he saw the lair but he hasn't seen the hydrogen and this is kind of interesting from both this is kind of a little bit of a mind game because when you scan this early of a lair you're like oh he's going middle i'm gonna have to get it like i'm gonna have to get an engineer i'm gonna have to get some missile turrets going um and I'm going to put on some pressure, because I want those middle discs to not be in my base. Uh, but yeah. he's actually going straight to Lurkers, so this might force Dirtybag to waste a lot of minerals on um, turrets. Well, here's the thing, though, because going for middle disc is initially there to get that in, that third hatchery, or that third gas. But he's already gotten the third gas, or the third hatchery, just by using um, Zerglings. So I think he's done the job. He doesn't have to go for middle disc right now, so he's just going to go straight for Lurkers. So Dirty Bag did move across the map with some Zerglings, I mean, it's with some Marines, just to apply some pressure, and just to force out, force out some more um, spine collars and some Zerglings. And he did just that. He did force out a few spine collars, but Bylif didn't actually overreact. No, it was very nice, very nice play from both of them. I really like the non-commitment from Dirty Bag. Just you know, the here I am, fear me, and go back again. And also, like you said, the Bylus responding perfectly to this. And uh, we do have some Hydro listing coming now. Uh, these are going to be the first lurkers. I'm curious if he's just going to use his lurkers to secure more bases early on, or if he's actually going to try and put on a lot of pressure. It's going to be really hard to make anything like to put on like a full frontal attack with a, with the lurkers. It's it's very yeah. difficult to make that work. So Dirty Bag now, he just got four medics, his team just completed. Um, his range upgrade is just com he's also completed too. It looks like he might be going for a little quick attack towards the third base. And uh, I wonder, I wonder if Bioth is actually going to have the units ready and available to counteract this push. He's got a couple of lurkers spawning wherever they may be. I can't click them, why can't I click them? Where are they? Okay, they're in his natural. So he has nothing in his third. Well, he has the spine crawler and, and the zerglings. But these lurkers will come in a little bit late. He's going to have to lose some zerglings and spine crawlers first. And with yeah. Dirty Bag's Micro, he might be able to pick off the Lurkers as they come in. If they don't come in with any support, Fire Bass out as well to deal with Zerglings. And Lurkers very well placed on the high ground there, but it's not going to stop this stop this hatchery from going down, but it is going to make sure he can't move any further. So it looks like that third hatch is going to go down. Dirty Bag, great pick off. Going to back up, not going to be too greedy. Definitely not going to push up that ramp, considering he did move a, a Marine up there. He did know that there were some Lurkers up there, so he's going to back up. This he's even going to use a scan. Beautiful play from Dirty Bag. Like yeah. he just he he got himself a base, you know, he, or I mean, he killed himself a base, and he knows he's ahead now. He knows there are lurkers, and lurkers yeah. can turn a game around that fast you if know, you get you a know, really bad spine hit. So. You know what I really like about Dirty Bag. Sorry, but that's you know, One little quick thing. Um, Dirty Bag actually put down an extra bunker at his natural while all that was happening. Ooh. So if there was any kind of counter <coughs> counter attack, Bath could easily defend against, or Bath would easily not be able to do anything. Any counter attack, and and yeah. So yeah, so that was a pretty solid move. I really like Dirty Bag's play so far. Yeah, it it's been very very solid. Byleth going for this fourth uh, base or third ish fourth. Uh, he's staying on on a lurker tech for now. Yeah, he's not. He's getting his uh, plus one attack. So melee that is. But that's actually quite normal in ZVT to make sure your zerglings are the buff units actually when it comes to upgrades and not necessarily hydro lurker because it's gonna also help the ultra lurkers in the late game so much. Um, yeah. So we're gonna have only a couple of lurkers burrowing. This is a little bit dangerous. Okay, there's there's more lurkers incoming. Uh, but he needs like, if you have not enough lurkers, then he can scan, split, and just kill them without losing almost anything. But if you have enough lurkers, then he loses everything. So it's it's kind of like a numbers game that way. You wanna you wanna make sure you have enough, or else you're just gonna waste lurkers. Meanwhile, Dirty Bag is actually he's a little bit worried about the edge of his map. Did he see something indicating a drop? Or I had no idea. That's really weird. Well, it's actually quite smart, because if you're just sitting there with your army anyway, you might as well be safe from everything, right? Like, it mm -hmm. doesn't hurt. A lot of circles are coming. Byleth is... I don't think he's gearing up for an attack, but he's definitely gearing up for a very hard contain play. And he's yeah, gonna try and take a lot of expansions in the meantime. Gotta make he really wants to make sure Dirty Bag cannot take a third base. He's got one Zergling at the one and yeah, he's got he's got Zerglings at every third basis that Dirty Bag could take that is natural except for the twelve o'clock. But the twelve o'clock is kind of uh not uh the best base for Dirty Bag to take at the moment anyway. Yeah. And you know, as a Terran player, as Dirty Bag, he might be getting a little bit worried about how there are four hatches out right now. So he just got his other, uh, he just got his first science vessel. He's getting out for a little quick push. He's got his siege tanks. Can move out there. Probably not going to siege up. Oh, oh he's going to lose his snipe. siege. And wow, yeah. nice save there. Good save. Dirty Bag sieging up. Going to take down some lurkers possibly. Lurkers will have to burrow and back up. Whoa, oh, so he's, oh, he's moving in. Oh, this is not a good move. 
Moving back Definitely to Marines, not. very nice. Oh, nice uh, uh, defensive matrix there. That Sick siege tank was almost dead too. Yeah, that was well, not lost. a good engagement from Byleth. Yeah, and he only lost one tank, so Dirty Bag is way ahead, and now he's definitely going to get it for a push. He can definitely take out one of these hatcheries, and it looks like Byleth just totally ditched that third base in the uh, bottom right side, or bottom right side of the left side of the map. <laughs> he's bringing all his units back up. Yeah, he's he's actually like, he's, he's not mining anything there. Well, he'll, he'll probably saturate it later on, hopefully. We've got a lot of lurkers and zerglings still. He's, Byleth has been ahead in economy for a while now, so he's oh, he benefiting from that. Oh, this is a much better he engagement for Byleth. Cut off. Oh, Violet these three lurkers! Still engaging, taking all these units. Wow. A complete victory. Wow, Byleth's doing a lot of damage there. And Dirty Bag, oh, just left left for dead. <laughs> so, so I wonder if, um, does Byleth actually have a, a Spire? Oh yeah, he has a Spire coming on the way. So we can't actually take out that, uh, that Science Vessel with any Scourges yet. Yeah, I really want to see more science vessels from Dirty Bay. At this point, just num having a high number of science vessels is, is crucial. Um, mm -hmm. Where is his... Oh, things are happening. Sorry. Oh, just some lurkers. But those lurkers were not very effective. There is the starport. He has the second one now. He's getting he's getting irradiate. Oh, he hasn't irradiate research yet. So this is one science vessel he has out in the open. He really should come babysit that and get that back home because that that's his little baby, man. He doesn't want to lose that. Yeah, losing science vessels is painful. That little explosion sound they make. I know it's music to other races' ears, but to me, it's just like, <laughs> it hurts. It's like the, it's like your nightmare. Yeah, sounds. I can't watch that. No, I just wake up in cold, hot sweats at nighttime, seeing all my science vessels die to units like that scorgies. Understandable. Ooh, attack moving in. So many zerglings. Oh, Thirty bag, gonna back up. Really oh, wants to die. deny the star base for as die. long as possible. Okay, wow. How many workers has... Only nine workers killed for Byleth, though. It wasn't too bad. Oh, so some lurkers moving in to the natural now, knowing that Dirty Ooh, Bag like to reposition his units. And Dirty Bag needs to pay attention, and he is. And... Oh, well, he is paying attention, but he's... Ooh. Ah. Okay, that was not so bad. But in the meantime, yeah. Byleth attacking from the other side. And Byleth... It's Byleth's turn to start making the right moves and pull Dirty Bag apart now in this game. And Byleth is slowly inching his way into this game now really, really well. Yeah. If he, if Dirty Bag just moves one science was a little bit forward, I think this, yeah, Siege Tank could have killed that Lurker. One Lurker in Bros gets killed, the unlucky one. It sucks to be that Lurker. Indeed it does. We do have Infestation Pit, I believe. No, we don't. D wow, he's staying on, on Lair Tech wow, for Bible's so long. Wow, is going hardcore at this. Yeah. Wow, wow, and he's killing so many uh, Marines. These Serlings are so strong, and again, Dirty Bag has to just, oh, loses every single SCV. That was, okay, he went from 9 to 20 kills. That was 11 SCVs was dead. Huge. And Dirty Bag is just having a really hard time doing anything moving out at all at this point. He's still ahead in supply somehow. Um, yeah, this isn't looking good for him. I don't really see him coming back from this, or... I don't know, he's still ahead in the food count, so that's really interesting. Um, and Byleth though, what tech is he on right now? He's actually on, he's, he actually still is on lair tech. Um, and he's in the middle of getting his infestation pit. So he doesn't have access to anything like Defilers or Orchalisk. Well this is the thing, like Dirty Bag has three science vessels now. When Dirty Bag starts to get like six, seven science vessels, if, if they don't get scourged down, he can, he, that is his, his ticket back into the game. That's how he can, uh, do this. Oh, and Dirty Bag salvaged the bunkers and now he rebuilt them. And Dirty Bag needs to actually man them because. Ooh, ooh and there goes the first time. Oh, another down. scourge. Second coming. one. No, please don't die. Okay. Yeah, he needs to keep there. these science vessels alive. That's so important at this point. There's so much fun. stuff to irradiate, though. There's no defilers. There's no. Like, the only high value targets are lurkers, but there's so many of them that it's going to be. Irradiate might not matter that much right now. Yeah. I wonder if you should invest more in siege tanks at this point. Yeah, that's a good question. There is so many zerglings though. I think actually some fire bats would be would be nice because there's just so many zerglings. It's insane to go with oh, the siege tanks. Some marines are on the map right now. They're gonna have to back up. That's a ton of units. Lurker is gonna go ahead and try to. Catch oh, he's units. actually moving all the way. He's going, in. In. He's going all the way up to the, the siege tanks. So that's a huge the burrow. Siege tanks. siege tanks, no. Oh, oh, siege tanks go down. Wow. I don't know, man. I think Dirty Bag's gonna lose this. Yeah, I think Barleth got this. Wow, uh, that's wow, insane. Dirty, in. Dirty Bag starting this game with like all the right moves, and Barleth is just turning it around in the mid game, and you know, killed so many Marines. One good engagement after the other. Again, Dirty Bag is holding though, but I don't think it's gonna last for that much longer at this point. 
It looks like Brad just continue with the pressure. Look at all that production. 26 Zergans moving in. Oh man, that that's gonna hurt. It is, and man, his creep is spreading all the way to the natural of Dirty Bag, and he's getting a fifth base behind this. And Dirty Bag is still on two bases. He's mine out in the main, basically. There's, uh, as we speak, he's probably gonna get mine out in the in the main, and, and his natural is running really, really low too. So, so yeah. this is Dirty Bag ha has a clock on him to make something happen. Uh, uh, it's gonna be really hard for him to make anything happen at this point. Definitely, and as you mentioned, that that creep spread is huge. That vision alone. Warn Zerg of every Terran attack that's coming in through that direction. And that's huge. That's that's a big, big like warning. Like minutes before the attack actually happens, so I don't know. That's also a good sign that uh Dirty Bag is probably not gonna win. Because <laughs> the creep spread is just so crazy. Yeah, yeah. It the creep spread kind of reinforces whoever's like ahead gets a little bit more ahead with the creep spread. Yeah, um, you know, I, I agree with you. I do think creep spread is overpowered and we should nerf it. <laughs> that's Exactly that's what good, I said. That's a good idea, <laughs> That's exactly what I said. Wow, he saved that <laughs> science whistle. That's that's quite insane. Um, no, that's actually no no. The defender's advantage in Starbo is is one of the things that is really cool about the game because it does open for all these comeback scenarios. But mm -hmm. right now, one but this might be like a, a first world problem, a first world RTS problem. But sometimes I feel the defender's advantage is so strong that like games that should be over a long time ago just drags out and drags out and drags out forever. You know what I mean? So, Sergei yeah. creep spread in that regard, I, I don't I think I'm fine with that. Oh, he's burning a couple of Zerglings, and they're being... Well, he already burned a scan, so might as well use it to kill some units, right? I'm not gonna get too much into design thinking here, though. I'll, I'll just try and stick, <laughs> stick with this game. But we yeah, have... at this point, Dirty Bag, I don't, I don't know what he's gonna do at this point. I mean, he, he's defending both bases. He knows he can't move out. You know what and he... it's only a matter of time before Byeth actually gets those big clunky units like Ultralisk and... Uh, Oh, he's going for a big drop. He you know what? Natural base. He's got those overlords loaded with a bunch of zerglings. You know what would have been interesting, actually, if if Dirty Bag, like 10, 15 minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago, started adding in a couple of banshees, forcing out some some hydros or something. That could be interesting. Oh, these oh, these science vessels are dangerously close to dying. Oh, science vessels, no. Good score, shits. These I don't think, I don't know. These marines just could be enough. Yeah, it's, it's got really holding back those zerglings. Very, very, you know, um, strong composition there. And the overlords are in place though to just wreck the main base of Dirty Bag, and yeah. that's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna. Oh, and this is good timing. Dirty Bag is across the map right now. If this drop actually goes to the main base, he can lose his entire main base. He He's could. gonna have to make some fire bats for this. I don't. And and, and it, what's kind of interesting though is that you know if Dirty Bag, sure, like. This is a really good drop, and it's basically okay. Never mind. That's too many units. I was gonna say Dirty Bag might have enough units to go for a good attack, and but I, I don't no, think no, he has. Not. Like he actually held out really well, uh, but like the he, he, are out. he's not gonna have enough to just keep doing this and just keep killing the whole base because the production of wild is insane. He's losing his main army as he's losing his main base, and this is gonna be it for Dirty Bag. I think he's gonna probably keep this small group of units alive. I oh, know he's not even gonna keep this small group of units alive. It's just gonna lose everything at this point. Yeah, looks like that's it. I don't think Dirty Bag's gonna take this. Bath, great play, opening up with a nice build. Not really doing too much damage with his initial attacks, but looks like he's gonna take it. Gee.